A well-built physique is a tangible reflection of someone's potential. There are no shortcuts to get there, only discipline. Discipline to make the sacrifices right now to achieve your goals and visions in the future. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. My name is Brett Marsden and whatever you do, don't quit. My name is Brett Marsden and I am an accountant by day, but by night I am a competing fitness model. I, I've always been interested in fitness. Even when I was growing up, I was involved in sports. I played a lot of basketball, I played a lot of rugby and football. Uh, but it was only until I was 18 or 19 that I actually started looking at bodybuilding and fitness model uh, I've always been interested in, I've watched shows. It's not too far different to the foundations of just being interested in fitness in general, it's just, it's there. Fitness and going to the gym as a lifestyle is there for your health, increase your well-being, increase your happiness, um, and it's just a general a feel-good pastime. Whereas competing challenges you to a level that you never would in general fitness. Uh, and that challenge is really what attracts me to it. Okay, so this is my cream of rice pre-workout meal. I've got my 85 grams of cream of rice in here, heating up. I've already shaken up my 8X whey, so that's ready to go in. And the salt and oil that's gonna go in with it. Today is going to be a shoulders and arms workout. Probably one of my favourite days of the week, so I'm excited to have myself properly fueled for this workout. This has been my pre-workout meal every day for the past six months or so, and I don't have any plans of changing it anytime soon, just because it works for me really well. Then one scoop of Myoban's greens, just so I can get my micronutrient goals for the day, as well as my macronutrient goals for the day. And this with the cream of rice, it's probably gonna be really hot. Mm. Top stuff. So right now I am seven weeks, just over seven weeks away from my competitions. Um, I really start taking my preparation for the competition seriously maybe 12 to 14 weeks away that doesn't mean that i am taking it easy for the rest of the year and throughout the whole year is always working towards that goal and improving in line with the strategy that i've set but the intensity of it definitely ramps up from about 12 weeks to go so i am almost halfway there so we are on the way to my local gym that I go to, to hit a shoulders and arms workout. And then after that, we'll do some cardio. And then after that, we'll do some posing practice. When you truly become passionate about something and you're obsessive about results and you're obsessive about improving and obsessing about achieving those goals, you do end up taking an analytical mindset to really review in detail on how to achieve them. I note down the exact amount of reps and the exact weight that I do 
on that exact exercise. And when I come to do it the next time, I have a benchmark. That's what I did last week. Are you going to continue to improve yourself and beat that this week? 26 kilo dumbbells for 16 reps. So let's try 28. Let's work together. Let's Sometimes, especially in fitness, it's hard to see whether you've improved because it's such a slow and gradual process. Sometimes you can get a few months down the line and think, God, have I, have I actually improved? Have I really got better? But I don't really know, I'm just guessing. You know, by having, by having that data and interpreting the data right, it's easy to set clear pathways to achieve, to achieve your goals. It's a black and white way of seeing, have I improved? Because facts don't lie. Last year when I competed, that was kind of the point where I got to a level in my fitness and in my physique where I thought, right, that next milestone is I want to compete on stage. I competed on stage last year in July. I didn't win. I placed second. So what's the next milestone? It's to place first. So I analyzed my performance last year with some feedback and figured out what do I need to do to improve myself, to increase my chances of achieving my next milestone, which is to win. But you've got to be critical. You can't blame anyone else if you don't achieve your goals that you set. Your goals are in your own hands and you can Whatever your goals are, you can achieve them if you really put your mind to it. So you've got to have that critical thinking to say, what didn't I do that that guy did? Because he beat me. And he, you've got to accept that he beat you fair and square. So it's, you've got to be really critical and say, where did I go wrong? And I've identified those. And hopefully I'm not, well, I know I'm not going to do it this time around. But it's also looking at the places where you can improve on that necessarily you couldn't have helped back then but having the experience and the time to improve them for the next time you set your challenge so i spent the whole last year just working on those on those improvement points and now hopefully with this next milestone i'll be taking home that first place prize If you can learn to have the discipline and the mindset to improving your fitness goals, then it's easily transferable to other things in your life. And fitness is a good place to try and learn those habits and, and learn that drive. It doesn't, it's not just limited to fitness, but if you can apply that drive and that mentality of continually improving for everything in your life, then you'll be amazed at how much your life can improve and how much better things can get. The best way to find inspiration is to really associate with people that are on your same path or associate with people that have done the path that you are currently on. So now that I've competed before I have a lot of contacts and have a network of people that are on the same path as me and have the same passions and once you surround yourself with people with the same passions that's when it you really get to feel comfortable in yourself and what you believe in and what you want to achieve you don't need to you know you don't need to have a full-time fitness job to achieve the goals you want in fitness you can do both. You don't have to be a, a superhero to achieve them. You can have your nine to five day job. And if you're truly passionate about whatever you do outside your job, then you will find a way to fit them both in and for them both to be successful. 15 minutes, hit Stairmaster, 40 seconds off, 20 seconds on. Let's do this. As soon as you kind of let go of the requirement to have people's approval 
and you kind of have self-fulfillment and self-motivation through yourself and motivate you kind of you're a self-motivated individual and you don't really need kind of the social confirmation of others it's a very freeing feeling when you know that you know i'm going to compete for myself and i'm not really bothered what people think about it it's just what my goal and my passion and that's what i want to achieve I want, I want people to take away that there is always time for things that matter and the time to start anything that you want to do is now and as soon as the ball starts rolling you'll be amazed at how easy it is to commit and, and stay consistent with it. So I just say just start. You might not know exactly what you're doing and you might not have all the tools or the perfect conditions to start but just by starting is probably the biggest obstacle that you'll find. You're on stage competing against other people, but in reality, you're not competing against anyone else but yourself. You drive for that progression, is through always being better than you were before. Don't quit.